Okay, welcome back, everybody. Frank Calabro, Jr. Going to be doing another video here for the email marketing series. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me about my screen capture stuff. What do I use? All that kind of stuff. And uh, a lot of you people have asked me this stuff. So I'm going to show this in the video. I use something called Snagit, guys. If you go to Google and just type in Snagit, uh, TechSmith, I think this is the same company that makes Camtasia Studio. I use Camtasia to make a lot of my videos. I also use Corel uh, Screen Capture, I think X, I can't remember what it's called, X7 Pro, which is how I'm recording the screen right now. But anyhow, you can find this called Snagit. It's like 50 bucks or something. And, you know, it's a one-time fee. And it's the best 50 bucks I've ever spent, guys. I use this stuff every single day. Here it is right here. Snag it. That's what I use to uh, do a screen capture. Let me go ahead and go over to my Maps account because what I want to do, you can use this. I'm just going to use this as an example, but you can use Snag it for anything. Now, you might have something free on your computer called, um, you might have something called a snipping tool. Let me see if I have it. I think I have it on this computer. This is not my primary computer. Okay, yeah, you might have something like this called snipping tool, snipping tool, and you might be able to use this. To capture a uh, screen, you know, capture anything, on, any images on your screen, whatever your screen is displaying, you can use this snipping tool. Uh, I haven't used this in a very long time, but you may have this on your computer and it might be a, a free choice, okay, to use to capture your screen. But I'm going to go ahead, I just wanted to show you that because you might have that on your computer already. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open up this snag it, this tool. I'm going to show you guys how I do this. It's pretty simple. And we'll just give it a second to load, I guess. I'm using my, my slower computer. This is my old computer. This computer is almost five years old, guys. <laughs> this thing is a dinosaur. But you know what? It still, it still runs strong. I use this computer every single day. <clears throat> okay. Well, whenever this thing decides to open, here it goes. Okay, what you'll do is you'll just click and drag whatever whatever part of the screen that you want okay so I'm just gonna put the crosshairs right there I'm gonna pull this over I'm holding down on my mouse and you just let go wherever you want and there it is there's there's my the image that I just grabbed off my computer screen now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dress it up a little bit what I like to do is like to blur out my sponsor's name of course I'm very proud of my sponsor but the reason I blur out his name is because, why? Because I want people to contact me, right, guys? So if I'm your sponsor, go ahead and blur out my name. You don't want people contacting me. Uh, I'm going to hit draw. Draw. What else am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to highlight a couple things. I like to highlight, highlight the day I got started so people can see how long I've been promoting this particular offer. I'm going to blow this thing up next year, Maps. I'm really going to run hard with this thing. I wish I got involved in this company four months sooner than I did. I really regret not starting sooner, but you know what? We're going to make up for some lost ground next year. And if you're not promoting maps, you need to be. I'll tell you what, this thing is a cash cow. This the Maps has changed my business, totally changed every part of my business. It's taken my business to the next level. Okay. What else I'm going to do? I'm going to click on that thing. I don't even know what that thing is. Some kind of shape thing. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. And I just figured all this out on my own. I just came in here and started playing with this thing. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to flatten this. Because if I flatten this, then I could put other things on top of this. Then I'm going to click this text ABC thing so I can put some, I can write. I'm just going to put down the dollar amount. 74 128.99. You just play around with this thing. You'll be able to figure it out. There, there's probably videos, tutorial videos, maybe. I don't know. I'm sure there is. I can't remember. You can go to YouTube and find tutorial videos on anything. But I'm sure Snagit's got videos on this thing. I'm going to type in the day. This is day 2 44 that's how many days I've been in maps I'm gonna go ahead and reposition that a little bit and then I like to put my website over here click and drag ok 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that and just move it and put it where I want to put it. All right, this is up a little high, it looks like. Let me move that over a little bit. That looks fairly good. All right, that's decent. And then what I'll do is I'll take an arrow. I like to point. Point to the dollar amount. Okay, and that's it. And then that's how I, that's how I do a, a design, like a simple image right there. A screen capture. Then I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this. I'm going to put this in my desktop. Go over to Maps. Where's my Maps folder? Maps. Maps Images. I'm going to call this Maps Day 244 hit save okay now I can use this image I captured it I saved it did what I, I customized it now I can use this in an email what I'll do is real quick I'll go over to a a web or I'm gonna create an email and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a, a broadcast a one-time broadcast using power lead system also before I teach you that and a lot of you already know how to do it but before I show you that I need to teach you how to build uh, capture pages extra uh, not capture pages I'm sorry I need to teach you how to make extra sales pages over there in uh, Power Lead System, and then I'll show you how to uh, do a one-time email broadcast. But I already got my AWeber. Actually, I got two AWeber accounts. Um, you don't need two AWeber accounts. You only need one. Uh, I have two different accounts because, actually, I connected this AWeber account to my Power Lead System account. So this account is fairly new, and uh, I opened this up, this particular account, shortly after I got started with Power Lead System, and I connected the two accounts together. Now, what I'm going to do, you're going to see an advanced uh, Power Lead System course coming out from me, and that'll be posted on my blog. You'll see it. You'll get the videos. It'll be under the PLS, uh, the Power Lead System uh, drop-down menu somewhere. I'm going to call it PLS Advanced or Power Lead System Advanced or something, and I'm going to teach some really high... Uh, uh, some uh, advanced training guys because a lot of you guys are very advanced marketers and I'm st going to start teaching some of the more advanced tactics list building that kind of stuff so that's all on the way I'm going to show you guys how to connect these two platforms together and I'm going to teach the benefits of connecting these two platforms together and this is going to be this is not going to be for everyone this training that I'm going to teach but it is going to be for my more advanced students and I want to have you know a lot more advanced training along with a lot more uh, newbie-friendly training also in 2015. But I just want to let you know that's on the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to copy something real quick that I did yesterday. I'm going to copy one of my campaigns, and I want to use it again because I got seven signups. Is this the email I sent out? I think, yeah, since I sent this email out, I got seven signups. And you can see not many people opened up this email, only 249, and there was only 73 clicks. And I got seven signups. Now, I don't know if all seven of those signups came from this email. It's possible they did. I don't know. But if they did, that's a 10% conversion rate, meaning 73 people opened up the email, watched the video, and seven of those people signed up for maps. Pretty powerful right there, guys. But I want to I copy this email, and I want to send the same email out again tonight. I think I'm just going to change the subject line. And I'm going to change the image. I'm going to use the image that we just copied or we just, we just created, I should say. So I wanted to show this in my video, myself doing a live broadcast using AWeber, a few AWeber people out there. And let's just give this a second to load. It might take a second. I don't really like using, making videos on this computer no more because it really... Uh, it, it really drains all the resources. There's not a lot of memory in this computer and, uh, you know, running this, uh, this uh, Corel uh, video studio, it just takes up a lot of RAM and, you know, the computer just struggles to keep up with it. Okay. Now, I'm going to change my subject line up just a little bit. Let's say focus. Let's get this out of here. Let's put it 
put something different. Just something simple. That's probably not a great headline, subject line. But I'm going to run with it. Okay, now I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to replace the image. So I'm going to hit here, replace image. And I'm going to upload the image. And I'm going to grab that same image we just created, maps, maps images. We're going to scroll down to day 244. There it is right there. I'm going to click on that bad boy. I'm going to let it load up. There it is. Now I want to match my... message I mean my message with the dollar amount so what have we got 74,000 128 okay I'll show you the message in a second I just want to make the changes what is this thing right here I want that out of there okay I'm gonna hit test you always test your email and what you do is you send the email to yourself and make sure it's it's all good before you send it out to your list. You want to check everything and make sure everything's good. So let's go ahead and take a look at that email. And the same thing with Power Lead System. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to send the email to yourself so you can check it and make sure everything works properly. You always want to test your, um, your email. It's very important, guys. Last thing you want to do is send out an email and the link doesn't work or, you know, you made a mistake or something, you said something wrong or whatever. So, okay, there it is right there. Focus, making extra money is a good thing. We're going to go ahead and click on that. There's the email that's going to go out to my list. I'm going to send this out tonight. Once we, once we, uh. Yeah, I need to I need to adjust the size of that image. The image is see that it, the image is a little too big. I'm gonna adjust the size here in just a second. But this is why we check. I should have I should have already did that. Okay, I'm looking at the 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 the, uh, the copy. Uh, I talk about the uh, the household income in the U.S. My results are not average. Or here's my results for my for my advertising pays. Okay, I'm just looking at all the spacing. Now I'm gonna click on my link. Make sure my link works properly where I want people to go. I want them to go to this sales page. So the, so the link does work. Everything's everything's good. Go ahead and close that out because I know it works. Okay. So the, the email's fine. The only thing I want to do is I want to adjust the size of this image, which is very simple to do. I'm going to hit the back button. I'm going to grab this image. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to grab this arrow. Come on. And I'm just going to just take it take it that take it in a little bit. Okay, now it's going to work fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be perfect. Now, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit next. Aweber's the bomb, guys. I'm telling you. It is the best the best um, email follow-up autoresponder system there is. And you can do a lot of other cool stuff with it, like build custom web forms. I do a lot of customized stuff over here. It's more uh, for the tech-savvy people, but it's it's somewhat complicated, but it's really it's not once you mess with it long enough. When I first came over here, I thought this was the most confusing thing in the world, Aweber. Uh, that was back in 2011, I believe. I thought it was the most confusing thing in the world, but now it's nothing. Okay, I want to send this out tonight. Today is Thursday, the 4th, and I want to send this out tonight about 9.30 p.m. So what I'll do is I'll select 9.30 p.m. We'll hit set. Okay, and I want to send this to all my all my lists, my entire list, on this particular Aweber account, I'm going to hit schedule, and it's all set, guys. I'm done. I've got I've got an email loaded up, ready to go out. Some of you guys watching this video, you're going to get this. You're going to get this exact same uh, email tonight. And like I said, I'm going to show you uh, how to connect Aweber to your Power Lead system if you want to 
uh, do this more advanced type stuff and connect these two platforms together. And uh, eventually, you're probably going to want to do this. And uh, for many reasons, we'll, and we'll get into that once we get into that particular training. I want to keep that training completely separate from the email marketing training. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you do a screen capture. We use something called Snagit. You can go to Google, type in Snagit, and you can grab that tool and uh, start using that to capture any image that you want. All right, guys, take care. See you in the next video. Thank you.